of the way, there you go. Uh, so let's let's move back into this uh, this Fox ordeal. Fox virtual fans, they're doing it for baseball. Not sure if they're going to do it for everything else. I'm not sure how to feel about this. I like, like it. I, I, I think, think it's hilarious. And here's the reason <laughs> it's why. It's definitely that. I think I think they are Fox is being smart enough and creative enough. Like every game is not a sellout. And they talk about how like when when a big team plays a little team and it's like a blowout, like they're gonna show like, you know, a half empty stadium or a, you know, a barely full stadium and 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 they'll have them turn on a pitcher or turn on an umpire or you know, things of that nature. I think that is hilarious. I want to transition it to the world of college football where you have traditions way more than in professional sports. And they, they talked about this on the Yahoo. Like is Ole Miss fans going to be dressed differently? Are Mississippi (laughs) state fans going to have cowbells? Like what, what are we going to, what are we going to get? And then here's the thing. If, if you're Fox, okay and you're the super right wing network right do you kind of pick fun of the super left wing teams that you have to cover and do you make a mockery of their fan bases because you have the right to do that and yeah, nobody you, can really control anything you want to do yeah you can do anything that you want to terry said uh well damian first said fox is smart uh, this is better than what MLB is doing, having cardboard fans in the stands. I, I kind of like the cardboard fans. It's, it's I don't, I don't hate the cardboard fans. I don't hate this. I, I yeah. don't listen. I told you, I'm being open to every the old school Chris with just born in his ways and set in tradition is gone. Yeah, 2020 has broken me of that. Anything I can get to make this entertaining and fun, and 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 I'm taking it. I'm I'm enjoying all of it. I love it. I love it. Uh, I just want to use it to make fun of things. That's all I want. That's all I want. I want, if you don't do something funny and creative, I'm going to be pissed. If it's just the exact same fan, but in a different shirt, then I'm mad. Okay. I, I want a little LSU four-year-old flipping somebody off. I, I, like, I, like I, I want, I want this thing to be original. Yeah. No, I can understand it. Like I just make it original, make it entertaining, make it you the have biggest the technology. Make it parody. We're watching the technology yeah. before our eyes. Make it a parody. Like make this thing entertaining, and it's yeah. going to add a lot to these games. I think Terry said, "I believe there will be fans in the stands at football games." Yeah, we we both agree. No, with we that. do too. But, we do too. If we don't get fans, I'm I'm very excited about this. I think we're going to get fans. And I, I, I I'm super optimistic. I mean, I kind of think by September. I mean, baseball will start opening up to fans. I mean, I think other sports are going to yeah. say, we, you know, we can start having fans. There's a safe way to do it, and there's a right way to do it. Terry said if you But if don't, you're going to do it for baseball in the meantime, put a bunch of drunk Irish guys in the Red Sox thing. Yes. I'm okay with that. Yes, I I'm want somebody falling down the stairs, and I want somebody starting a fight. Let me get through some of these comments. He said, if you don't hear cowbells at the Bulldogs football games, then that's a travesty. Yep, agreed. Ben said, I hate the crowd noise. Tropicana Field is not supposed to be loud. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. But we uh, don't know that. We don't know that. We don't know that when Fox covers it, they they won't have but like thirty something people out there. Yeah, it's entirely possible. Uh, Michael said, "Would y'all pay to have a cutout of yourself at the game?" Dodgers were charging three hundred, I think, and one hundred and fifty. Uh, so I would pay for one reason, one reason only. I would pay if I got if it was one of the stadiums that if your if your head gets hit with the ball, you get the ball. They'll mail you the ball. That's I cool. would I would do it for that if it was not a per game price, and if it's just a all right, you you paid us three hundred bucks. Here's your head for sixty, you know, for thirty of the games. That's not a bad idea. I mean, that's ten bucks. I a would game. do that. I'm sure it's not. I'm sure it's a per game price, and that. It's ridiculous. I don't have that kind of money. Oh, agreed. Uh, Darren McArdle said, if you go VR, then do the VR throwing things on stadium. Um, Damien said, Univision already has virtual fans for their soccer games, of course, but they had a few glitching problems, (laughs) and it still looks cool. Um, Let's see. Terry said, I'm loving the DH and the NL, even though I didn't want it because it's better than watching pitchers strike out or hit into a double play. Everybody yeah. who says they didn't want it, by the time this thing is over with, is going to demand that it happens. If they go back the other way, you're just going to be furious. Yeah. I mean, I I, I really like this. I really like yeah. this idea. Uh, Michael jumps in on Twitch. He said, we can actually have both. NFL is already reserving the first eight rows for safety. 
just put the cutouts there. There you go. Yeah, I'm in with that. Uh, Terry said, Ben, I saw a game at Tropicana Field. It was really empty and should always be that way. <laughs> uh, he said, we should all pay for, uh, let's see, for the Wild Group and all of us wear WCE shirts right behind home plate for advertising. Yes, 100%. Everybody do that. So uh, I did think about when I saw the cutouts, I did think about I, if I had like a really – bad picture of somebody that I was friends with that just made them look just Awful. laughably bad. <laughs> it would be worth the money to pay to have that be on national TV. Yes. And they not know it. And then just all of a sudden now they become a meme. And oh, that, yeah. that's, that's kind of all I want. They turn on the TV and they see themselves sitting, you know, behind the, uh, the giants home base, yeah. you know, just whatever. Yeah. yeah we all I, have, we all have, Drunken photos of us looking ridiculous at some point in time in life, <laughs> finding finding one of those and sending it in and seeing what we could come up with would be really funny. I would be game for that. Well, I think a lot of ex-girlfriends or jaded lovers might use this as a oh. revenge thing as well. I could see that. I wonder if there's a, I mean, there's got to be some kind of a screening process. Well, yeah, you probably can't but, have something inappropriate, but if you just have like an ugly picture, then, yeah. you know. 